Yo, honestly, when I think about college, I think about them 8.30 a.m. classes, the college parties, which I actually never have been to. And then maybe finding the one. So right now I've only done two out of the three things. What's a college party? I've never been to one and I don't like parties. Ciao. Anyway, so... What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Just Another Teen Life Crisis podcast. I am your host, Kia Purse, and I honestly hope that you guys have had a great, amazing week. I hope you guys have been doing great spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, sexually, like the whole nine yards, to be very honest. I hope y'all are living great, because if you're not, then we're going to have a serious problem. We're going to we're gonna need to have a little besties chat. Like, are you okay? Are you good? Because I actually do care. Like, if you're not doing good, you need to tell me. So we can make that frown a little upside down and just, you know, party and get cute and get lit. Or whatever. But anyways. I'm not going to lie. I've had a weird little week. I mean, my arm's not sprained anymore. So that's a good thing. I mean, of course, I can't fully extend it the way I want it to. But like... That's fine. I can live with a little pain in my life. You know, you know how Megan said, can't hurt my feelings, but I like pain. Because I really do. That's no one's business. But anyways. Like this week had may have been weird, but today was actually a really good day. Like last night and today were really, were two really good days. Um, I went out on a double date last night with my best friend, my boyfriend, and the guy that she's seeing. And then today I went to the bookstore and I bought a couple books. I'm actually really getting into poetry. I'm really getting into like reading more often because it's actually really fun. And then I got to work on some stuff when I went to Starbucks. Got my nice little train to pink drink with almond milk. I'm weird. Yeah, I know. And then I went to Ulta to pick up some things. So that's pretty much my day on a daily day basis besides working then again I was off today so I guess that makes a little more sense to why I had a little more free time with my life which I never get and college makes it worse which is funny because that's today's topic okay as you all know with each topic that I do I always have to have a little journal entry so we're gonna get started with that Being in college is supposed to be the best four years of a student's life. I personally thought that would have been high school, but boy was I wrong. Even though the ones before us had the college experience, us Gen Zers have had it quite differently. And how might I ask? We did it all during a pandemic. We imagined our college experiences like how it would be on TV or in the movies, but instead we had to do it from home. Giving us more freedom but we still gotta wake up from the early morning classes, and it's not, and it's not okay. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, is college worth it, or is it the right decision for everybody? I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say I love school, but honestly, I have always hated school. I, mm, I just hate school, regardless. I don't care. I hate it. It's not fun. I've always hated school ever since I was a little kid, mostly because I was always bullied in school. But the learning part, I just don't learn like other people. I'm a visual learner. I'm a very visual, hands-on, teach me what I need to know and let me go type of person. I've never liked school. But I do like to learn things, so it's a totally different field. Okay, but the real question is, is college worth it? So, a little backstory on college for me. Um, I'm in college now. I've been in college since fall of 2019. And I've gone through many phases of it because at first I went to a university. It was actually, actually, I went to Full Sail University a great like digital media production school in 
Florida. The sad part was I wasn't able to go on campus because they didn't have dorms, but they had all campus housing, which my mom didn't want me to do. So basically saying, oh, you're not going to Florida. You're just going to take the course here. May I repeat, I didn't even get the college experience like most of my friends were already getting because they all went on campus. Me, I had to do it from home and I was just working the whole time. So I was like, there's no point for me to do college. I mean, I tried it. I'm not going to lie. I tried it. I liked that I was going to full sale, but I didn't like how I was doing it because I wanted to be I want to be like that bad bitch on campus, you know, dress and fly every day, meeting cute people, meeting, going to parties, and just like having fun. But no, I didn't really get that. And it made me very sad. So, but when the pandemic hit and like everybody had to come home from colleges to to school, I was like, I'm already doing this and I don't like it. But um, eventually, I flunked out. And then now I go to this community college called College of Southern Maryland, right, like, 15 minutes from my house. Thank God, because I forgot I was enrolled there when I was at full set. That was funny. That was, like, really funny to me. I was like, oh, I'm enrolled here still? Par! So I just enrolled for the fall semester of 2020. And I've been there ever since. Now, I'm not going to lie. This community college is for two years, and I have still not graduated yet. Why you say that? Um, Because I had to pay for the tuition, and I was just like... It was hard. It was, it was just very mentally draining. And then I was also like having mental breakdowns here and there which made me feel like yo I need to I need to give this college thing a break and I did I gave it a good old semester break and I came back this year of 2022 which I actually found very helpful and mostly because one they were all zoom classes and I hated zoom I was like, welcome to Zoom University. I don't even want to be here. I want to be in a real classroom with real people and, you know, mingle and chit chat and whatever. And I never got that. But the best part is I'm getting it now. So I don't have to be a loner. Because I'm always a loner. Like, mm, I'm not always a loner. But I feel alone all the time. Besides the point. Let's talk about majors, because honestly, for college, you want to have, like, not, like, the perfect major, but, like, the thing you want to do the most in your life. I'm not going to lie, my best friend, Aaliyah, has always wanted to work with animals, and I have applauded her on that, and guess what? That girl is going to be a veterinarian. And I am so proud of her because she is working for that vet degree and she's doing vet programs and I could not be happier. Girly Jaden, getting that nursing degree, period, as she should. Me, my major has changed so many times within the past four years. First, I wanted to do music production. Then I wanted to be a business major. Then I wanted to be an English major. Then I wanted to be a film director, so I chose digital production major. Then I went back to English. And now, I've changed my major about six times. Now my major is going to be media studies. What is media studies? When I tell people that I'm going to be like, oh, I'm a media studies major. They're like, what? I'm like, I'm going to try and work in the social media journalism field and they're like oh that makes more sense i'm like yeah sometimes i wish they had like a distinctive name for like every major so it doesn't sound like oh wait what is that like what do you do 
And it's like, oh, yeah, that's what I made her in. But, like, it's cool, it's fine, it's whatever. Ew, no, that's not gross. Along with picking a major, you gotta pick them classes. And especially, like, you have between you, like, you need to have a schedule open. Like, it's like college classes are basically all day. You can pick any time you want. You just gotta make sure you have time for it. And it's gonna be very difficult. Like, you wanna take that early 8 a.m. class? Do it. But you gotta wake up for it. I had an 8.30 class that I almost slept in through four to five times because I was so tired. And I didn't want to get up. I put that thing on Zoom. I went straight back to sleep. No wonder why I actually failed that class. What class was that? I think that was sociology. Sorry. I was tired and I didn't feel like waking up for you. But then you also have like those... 8 15 8 30 p.m classes and it kind of interferes with if you work late you gotta change your schedule like it's just not gonna work and then you have the middle of the day classes where you know you're at work and you can't do anything about it so it's like oh should i drop this class but i really need that credit should i change my schedule for work what should i do that's why they offer the classes any point in time in the day. They work around you. Not you work around them. They work around your schedule. So you can make sure you get that degree. Make sure you get to pass those classes. Make those classes on time. The whole nine yards. And it's funny I mentioned around working around school because it's also like working while you're in school. That is actually the title of my paper, which I am writing, and it is due on the 13th, and I have not yet started it. So, this is why college is somewhat important and not important, but anyways. Working while in college? Yo. I know what it's like. You want to buy new clothes. You want to get new shoes. You want to buy this, buy that. Pay off your tuition at the same time. It's all, like... I'm living this life now. I don't know why I'm talking about this. So I'm still learning about work, like working while in college. Because most of my classes aren't even on days that I work. But I also need to make sure, yo, I have this paper. I need to get this paper done. Thank God my job is so lenient that I can write my papers while I'm at work. Or... Even if I need a day off, I'll take off just to finish some classwork. Or even do some classwork. And the best part is, on my days off, I don't have to work. But if I want to, I surely can. I can just go in right after. Make some money. Also, I know, like, them study hours, they're crazy. That's why you gotta ask. Like, if you're cool, like, if you're cool with working while you're in school... Do I say go for it. Just make sure you get everything done and organized and planned out so you don't burn out or forget something. And then, you know, one thing or another, either you're fired or then you fail that class. Because so, it's, it's a lose-lose, but you can also make it a win-win. And then, even if you want to graduate with an associate's degree, girl, you can transfer. I'm going to get... Mm, let's talk about... Let's talk about transferring schools. Because honestly, I say honestly a lot and I did not realize that until now. But let's let's be honest, I'm going to keep saying it because it's how I talk and I can't help it. Um, Like I was talking about, transferring. I go to community college, right? After my two years and I get my associate's degree, I can go to another college. I can go to a university. High key, I want to go to Howard. You know, HBCU, Black Lives Matter. All black school. They get, well, not all black school, but like, you know, it's a historic black college that I would love to go to. And the fact like they have good programs, they have good, mm, 
I was like, I just want to go to a, I just want to go to a black, I just want to go to a black college. I'm not even gonna lie. I just want to go to a black historic college. I'm not even gonna make an excuse. I want it, and I want to go. Don't blame me if you want to, but I'll do it. And then again, Howard costs a lot of money. Howard is pricey. It is a well-known, prestigious college that is pricey and I ain't got the money for it so I hope I get a scholarship that's another thing scholarships use them use scholarships so hard so much it's going to help you you won't have to worry about money for the rest of your well-being do you have to pay it off no well I'm not really I can't really tell y'all about that because I really haven't used a scholarship but I wish I did I wish I wish I did cuz I'm going to I'm going to need it in the future very very much. Okay. Now if I'm really going to get into this, I got to talk about like yo college. Well, I really haven't even answered the question. Is it worth it or is it the right decision to make? Um, I'm not gonna lie, college isn't for everybody because I've actually talked to a couple of my friends. I actually registered one of my best friends for college to take with me. And her mom was like, yeah, you need to take this. And she was so pissed at me. She did not want to do it. And to this day... I do not blame her and I apologize for making her go through that because I know she did not want to do it. She tried her damn near hardest. And she was just like, fuck it, I'm not doing it no more. And I don't blame her. I really don't because we both failed that semester together. We were we were all in the same. We we took all the same classes and we all f- and the both of us failed. So we were, one, we were workaholics. Two, we just, we were just not in the right headspace to do it. And did we even try? Our, we tried. Well, I tried until I couldn't try anymore. And I knew she tried. She did the same exact thing. And she has not gone back. And I don't blame her school isn't for everyone i don't particularly love school but i know like i want to get a good degree in doing the things that i love like i love writing i love like this i love podcasting i love writing music i love writing songs yeah, I just love writing in general. So I know I want to do something in the writing field. I love singing. I love dancing. I wanted to be a minor in music production. But the college I go to now doesn't give that option. So I hope like if I transfer, I can definitely do that. And then, honestly, it depends on who you are. Some people don't love college. Some people do. Some say it's a lot of money. Others is like, it's a great way for you to gain knowledge and education and a healthy kind of lifestyle for who you want to be when you're past 25. If I could, honestly, if I could, if COVID never happened... I'm not even going to blame it on COVID, but, like, if I had the choice to go on campus, I probably wouldn't have been where I am now. I would have stayed, I would have gone to Florida, I would have actually done all the work, I would have actually been happy with where I was, and probably would be graduating by this year or next year. I would honestly have loved that college life. But, like, right now, I'm not loving it like I should be. 
and that's fine because everybody else has a different college experience from other people. Like, well, you think I'm gonna have the same college experience as my mom? No. You think I'm gonna have the same college experience as all of my cousins? No. Or any of my siblings? Definitely no. This is me in my moment. I experience it how I want to experience it. And you should too. Like, say, if you're going to college and you want to know how, like, someone's experience is. I wouldn't say do exactly what they did, but at least learn from them. And then you can make your own mistakes. You know what? I'm going to say this. College is the four year is not the four years not what I want to say college is not the best four years of your life it's the four years of your life where you are allowed to make your own choices and make and learn from your own mistakes because I have definitely made a couple of mistakes in the past three years that I'm not proud of, but I'm also learning from them and moving forward to where I am going in my future, knowing that I'm not going to flunk out this time. I'm not going to procrastinate to the point where I'm like, I need to get this grade up because I want to not make just my family proud. But make me proud for being able to finish and do, just do it all the way through and embrace it and just see where I go in the next four years, possibly. Because honestly, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with doing it for me. Like I honestly should have from the beginning. Instead of doing it for everyone else. Because what does Megan Thee Stallion say? I'm that bitch. Been that bitch. Still that bitch. Will forever be that bitch. I'm a savage. Attitude nasty. Talk big shit. But my bank account magic. Let me stop. I love. Do you know your Megan baby? You should know your Megan baby. I know my Megan baby. (laughs) But um. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. I'll be right here with you guys if you need it. And I know you guys are going to be here with me. We got each other. We see each other. We see each other. We good. (laughs) Okay, you guys. I think that's going to be enough of my college rant for the night. But I did want to leave this off on a positive note. And say, do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy and you will be amazing at whatever you do. Okay, you guys, I am signing off here. I hope you all have a beautiful weekend and a beautiful rest of your week. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye beautiful people.